Hello. Finally. Hey, SS. Hey, Fugly. Oh my goodness. I guess it's Flugly. I think I keep missing an L every time I say your username. <laughs> And it's Arenas. Hey, guys. Sorry. Um, I've, OBS has been giving me a lot of trouble lately. It keeps, um, it keeps crashing, which is fun. So. Yeah. So that happened. Uh, we are working on Marinus thing tonight. I'm gonna try to finish up the... I want to try to get these done. I know I wasted a lot of time stopping and doing my stuff, but... I want to try to get these done before I leave for Christmas break, so that's the goal. So let's see if we can get it done. <laughs> A lot of good uh, world building discussion going on with you guys. <laughs> Didn't participate too much because I was at work, but you know, it was fun reading all your guys' uh, Texts and stuff. <laughs> it's sort of interesting how many different ways people, you know, go about doing their art. Because everybody had slightly different advice. Yeah, it was fun to read it. Alright, so this is where we're at. Uh, we have a whole... one whole building, so... I think I'm gonna try to finish up the trees down here just to get that out of the way, and then uh, we'll finish up the buildings, I think. I heard something bloop, maybe? Perhaps? Not sure. Well, anyhow. Um, SS guy, I saw what you were writing to, um, to Kib just a moment ago before I started up the stream. Uh, it, it kind of sounds like, you know, your, your characters are all kind of happening in this little, uh, like, farm type area. It kind of sounds like, um, is it, are they based on, like, regular earth and they're, is it kind of like, um... Is it, is it kind of like a uh, like a bug's life or a ratatouille kind of kind of situation where it's earth and there's implications of humans ratatouille it's more overt that there's humans but like is it, is it like earth though it's like modern earth and then just the bugs are doing their own thing and it's just like like looking down in a bug's life at, at what's going on with them is that is that how it is Ernest go do an art rant art rant Art rant away. I have nothing to art rant about. <laughs> uh, dude, that's the worst. When you start drawing something and you can just not get that style back, it's so hard. No, I totally know that feeling. Ah! It's Rhea! Slash Marinith! Slash Kib! <laughs> you and all your kids. You and your children. That's why I'm always so shocked whenever I, um, I go back and grab, like, an old sketch and I'm like, huh, this doesn't suck. <laughs> Um, actually, in fact, I can give you a good example. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Archive? Yeah. Archive. I did... Yeah, this one. This piece, I did a different version of it, like, forever ago, <laughs> and I didn't like it. So I worked on this sketch to try to get, like, a better perspective on the beast. And then I just abandoned it. I was like, well, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't have time to finish it. But I came back to it a couple, you know, a little while later and really liked the sketch and was able to actually use it, which I have never been able to do. So I totally feel your pain on not 
being able, like, not being able to get a, I mean, it's a little different with sketching, I think, but, like, painting, I can imagine that's even more frustrating, but I, I, I kind of feel you on the whole not being able to match a style thing, and that's why that particular piece was so surprising to me that I was able to even utilize the, the piece I had, because... Normally, I'm in the same boat you are, where I just, I look back at something, or I return to a piece of artwork, and I'm like, well, fuck, I don't know what the hell I was doing with this. <laughs> yeah, I think Rhea saw, in fact, uh, Rhea started doing some writing for it for me, because I'm so bad at writing stories. Um, I actually asked him to, to write some stuff for me, but then that project got abandoned, because I couldn't think of a story for it. <laughs> That story, the story involving the, those characters has evolved actually quite a bit um, since the last time I worked on anything for it. And I still don't have a plot. <laughs> I don't even, I still don't even have a villain. Like, that's, that's how not developed those characters are at the moment. <laughs> yeah, school stuff, yeah, school stuff, well, it was a little bit of both. It was that school stuff took over and it was also that I just couldn't, I couldn't think of anything. Like, I abandoned a couple of the, um, a couple of the villains. Although, one thing that did change, uh, actually, well, first, oh, shoot, is she even on this computer now? Oh, she is, she's in this folder. This girl turns into the big beast creature in the other, I just, I, I call it the beast, that's all it's called. Um, it's kind of like a... That one's supposed to be a little bit more of a, like, a superhero kind of theme. The characters were originally created, like, I, when I say created as fan characters, I mean, like, like, literal ages ago. Like, when, when my sister and I were still in, like, middle school and high school, kind of, forever ago. Um, like, you know, six to ten years ago, kind of old. Um... We were playing a lot of Marvel-themed games with my dad, you know, like Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Marvel, um, mostly Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and we were really into superhero Marvel superheroes at the time, and um, so she and I created our own, like, Marvel heroes, and mine was the, the girl that turns into the wolf. Um, it's not really a wolf. It's a, it, honest, honest to God, it's more of a bear than a wolf. Uh, I, I based its anatomy on tigers and, and bears. Oh my! <laughs> uh, no lions, though. No lions in that, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that's that's where they came from. Uh, they've since evolved since, like, past that, but I didn't have a villain for them, so the story never went anywhere. Wolf bear. Wolf bear tiger. Yeah, he's got, uh... Probably can't even find that now. I want to get this done before I leave for Christmas break. Get sidetracked by literally all the things. Yeah, because he's got, like, he has tiger teeth, and he's got a little bit of a tiger face, but I gave him, like, wolf hind legs and a wolf tail. Um, but his shoulders, and it's hard to see in this picture. I think I actually have... This is the newest version of him. I'm sorry, I just realized how loud I'm talking. I'm going to push you guys away from me a little bit. Um... Let me turn my headset down a little bit so I can hear myself and so I'm not shouting into the microphone. Um, yeah, he's got like a little bit of like bare shoulders. Um, so he's a little bit of everything. I haven't worked on him for a long time, but uh, they've evolved ever so slightly since the last time I touched them, but not that much. Um, yeah, so that was a thing I did. Six weeks until school. That's awesome. Until school's over, I mean. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I misread your sentence. You are done with school for the next six, six weeks. That's pretty sweet. You keep getting a static burst because I'm loud and keep shouting into the microphone. That's definitely not you. Uh, I'm trying to either A, figure out how to fix that, or B, how to stop shouting so that I don't blow you guys out. That's definitely me. That's why I, I pushed you guys away from me a little bit, and I, um... <laughs> yeah, I pushed you guys away from me a little bit. So, hopefully, um, hopefully I stop blowing you guys out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Six weeks to do whatever you feel like. Very nice. Absolute freedom. <laughs> Beats 
for, for the, yeah, there you go. Hey, stop sign, welcome. <laughs> Yay, you can stay for a little while. Huzzah. Actually, uh, Rearchor, with the characters from that, uh, from Cure, I, uh, I did, I know you had mentioned adding more characters, and first I was kind of like, well, I don't know if I need any more characters, I kind of like the two that I got, but I did end up, uh, thinking it might be fun to add more, like, hero-type characters, so I, I did, I haven't designed her at all, but I had, des I had come up with an idea for another, so the, the, um, the idea I had for them, um, for anybody who doesn't, doesn't know, which is probably all of you. Um, Cure was a story about... When I say a story, I mean that I created a character, had a vague idea for a story, and then never did anything with it. Um, the, the the main girl, whose name is currently a cell, and I'm not sure if I want to change it, because I feel like that name's really complicated and or weird foreign sounding. I don't know. Um, but she has, like, like, serious cancer, like, everywhere. So, of course, she has to take, like, an experimental drug made by another character who does I mostly because I haven't decided on a first name for her because I can't choose one um but she goes to a lab run by a woman who only goes by Dr. Nix and Dr. Nix um uses an experimental treatment on her but it gives her this this ability to turn into a beast and it over time their abilities have changed and shifted um a cell originally was like almost like the Hulk, where if she got angry, she would change. I have since changed it to that if she takes serious enough injury, she becomes the beast. And it's more of an idea that like all the blood in her body that was cancerous became this quote unquote beast blood. And so the beast is almost like a almost like a beneficial parasite where it it's the parasite and she's the host. And so when she gets injured and would potentially, you know, die, the beast takes over her existence. She turns into it and it sort of heals all her injuries. So if she, say she breaks her neck, the beast, she will turn into the beast and thereby she becomes a whole new healthy creature. And then when she turns back, she turns back into her normal healthy self. So it kind of like yeah, a little bit like a little bit Deadpool, but a little bit um <laughs> yeah, right. Um yeah, a little bit a little bit Deadpool, um definitely. Not in the sense that she's invulnerable. Like, you know how like like when Deadpool gets hurt, he immediately heals. Imagine if instead of immediately healing, he had to transform into a werewolf first. That's that's sort of how it is. It's kind of like resetting by turning into something else. Um, but so she, um, that's her ability. But as I was developing that idea, I thought, well, what if the other characters also had some sort of effect from the same treatment? So in Dr. Nix's case, she's, she looks like a snake and she has the ability to create any chemical she wants with her, with her fangs. Uh, and then I decided, well, what if the reason that she becomes a snake specifically is because she had skin cancer, so when she used the drug on herself, it repaired her skin. And so now her skin is, like, super armored and really strong. It's not that much like Deadpool. And also, I'm not even, like, remotely planning to do anything with this idea. Uh, actually, and stop sign, it's not even that. It's not even the same. At all. Have you even seen Deadpool? I'm sorry, but it's not. It's literally not even the same. Anyways. If I had created a character who... If I had created a character who, yeah, okay, she went to a lab, okay, yeah, she got a treatment. But, like, say, there's there's literally no difference. She doesn't break the fourth wall. She doesn't use swords or spears or any kind of weapons. She doesn't take damage without becoming a different creature. It's almost like, if anything, she's more like the Hulk. Deadpool did get bought by Disney today. Anyways, um... 
Well. Anyways, so my idea was then that that Nyx turned, you know, the, the chemical that was that turned a cell into a Hulk Deadpool beast makes her turn into a snake, and then my other idea was that there would be a character who had brain cancer, and so it turns her into, like, a psychic. Like, if we're gonna start comparing my characters to Marvel characters, I guess it makes her, like, uh, Scarlet Witch. You know, just ESP, mind control, shoots hex bolts, whatever, that kind of thing. But, so, yeah, uh, I heard, I heard, uh, Disney bought the other thing. Uh, yeah, so, that'll be interesting. I kind of hope if they're gonna do, um... I kind of hope if they're gonna do, uh, like, anything with Deadpool now that they purchased it. I saw this post on Tumblr a while ago when they first announced that Deadpool was getting an R-rated movie where, um, people were talking about how, like, somebody said how bad it would be if it wasn't, if it wasn't R-rated, but that somebody else pointed out that, like, I guess when you write a non-R-rated, like, I think it's PG-13, you are allotted, like, so many swear words, so, like, if you're PG-13, I think you can only have one F-bomb. And somebody was talking about how funny it would be if there was a PG-13 Deadpool movie in which Deadpool spends the whole movie trying to find the best place to, to use his F-bomb. And he keeps breaking the fourth wall going, Oh, fudge! Oh, that's not a good place to use my word. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta wait and use that another time. And then at some point in the movie, um... Uh, like, towards the end, maybe, Wolverine comes in and uses the, the F-bomb he uses the one f-bomb they're allowed for the movie i think that would be really funny <laughs> like if they're gonna if they're gonna do a non-r-rated deadpool that's how they have to do it they have to play off the fact that deadpool should be r-rated you know you can't just make pg-13 deadpool and expect it to be okay they have to play off that idea but anyways i hope that yeah i hope they make fantastic four to be honest because all the Fantastic Four. Uh, okay, so I think I talked about this on the stream one time a while back, but the first, um, I didn't think the first Fantastic Four movie was terrible. I don't think it was good, and I'm not going to defend that movie as if it was the best thing ever. But for, for the time period that it was made in, and for the type of CG they were able to give it, I think it was okay. It was pretty funny. It had, you know, the humor was very you know, dated. But I think it was okay. It was okay for, for the first, one of the first, uh, you know, for the first time they did, you know, did that. I, I don't know. It, I, I didn't hate it. I thought it was really good. The second one was terrible. I didn't like the second one at all. The, the, the new one, but whatever. I, oh, there was a lot more than I thought there was. Actually, the other thing I'd like to see is, as X-Men. I think X-Men would be cool. Although, see, that's the thing. I think uh, I think Fox did really well with X-Men. I, I liked the cast anyway. Yes, and I hope they keep Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, so <laughs> I, <laughs> they just need to keep him. That's it. They just they just got to keep him. Yeah, I actually don't really remember the second of the original Fantastic Four that much. I really only remember the first the first Fantastic Four movie, and I remember it not being the worst thing I'd ever seen, and I remember enjoying it when I first watched it, but, like, going back and watching it now, it feels really cheesy and stupid. Um, and also, Captain America is the Human Torch, and that's weird to me. <laughs> I can't unsee him as Captain America, so... I mean, he, he is Steve Rogers, so. I am not going to draw the windows in totally here. I'm just going to go like that. Ah, oh, it's a window. Check it out. Such a window. All right. Uh, sorry, I got to remember not to talk so loud. 
Yes, the bad, the bad Deadpool. I don't know how they fucked that up so bad, to be honest. Um, in case you guys were curious, actually, this is a fun fact that's related. Uh, if, if, maybe this won't surprise you at all, but, um, the guy who draws Deadpool currently, uh, Mike Hawthorne, uh, he was one of my professors in college, and he, uh, when you talk to him, you can tell he's one of the, uh, you, you can just tell. <laughs> he's, he's one of the artists for Deadpool. You, <laughs> you can just tell. <laughs> he's such a cool dude, but he's completely insane. In a good way. Like, insane in a good way. You know, you, you can just, you can just tell. He's got that quirky sense of humor. I enjoyed him quite a bit. He was awesome. He was one of the best professors I had, too. I use the term professor very loosely because none, I don't think any of them were actually teachers. I think they were all just people they hired to tell us to do things. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he designed, um, Zenpool. I wonder how he feels. Actually, I wonder how he feels about it. I should, uh, let's see. I should see how he's feeling about, uh, getting bought out by Disney. Of course, Disney's also attempting to... <laughs> Disney's attempting to eat everything at the moment. <laughs> Disney is consuming everything. See you later, stop sign. Sorry your, uh, sorry your internet's acting up. Definitely not because we lost net neutrality today. That's definitely not why. I'm only a little bit salty about that. <laughs> I might. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope you sleep. I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> I, might, I might sleep. <laughs> I see now that you attempted to add the word well to that. <laughs> yeah, you sleep well too, man. <laughs> see you later. that in there because that's actually the whole inside of that chunk gone hey man we're always around we're always there for a conversation so The, uh, the company that was doing the, um, the Marvel Heroes Omega got destroyed also. I'm, I don't really actually 100% know what happened to them, but one day that game was just, like, not there. It was just gone. They just shut the whole game down. It was wild. Like, obviously they gave us some notice. It was like, oh, by the way, Gazillion Entertainment's going away, so, you know... Maybe don't buy shit from us because we can't refund your money. And like, I think it, I think it happened the day before Thanksgiving. So like, on Thanksgiving Day, they basically let everybody go, and it was really unfortunate for them. I don't know what happened. Maybe it wasn't unfortunate. Maybe that was, maybe that was their fault. I don't know. I wasn't really following. I just know I was playing the game, and it was you know, at least somewhat amusing. <laughs> and then it was gone. So. Oh, yeah, Mage. Your text bomb. I want to read it so bad. Like, it's totally up on my list. I just... My life has been a vortex of chaos. Uh, today at work, uh, I was working on storyboards. I was making some really good progress on my list. I was nearly done. I was, you know, almost halfway done, which was a lot further than I expected to get. Uh, and then another new project, a ninth new project, got dumped on us. So... Uh, and then, of course, you know, it wasn't just like, a, oh, by the way, can we maybe think, think about doing this project? It was like, I need this new project done and, and sent to China tomorrow. So, of course, that derailed everything that's due at the end of next week. 
So that's how my that's how my week went. That's how my day went, and that's why I didn't get home until almost seven o'clock. Uh, I did make myself an awesome lunch for tomorrow, though, so I am very excited about lunchtime tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe tomorrow I will get home in enough time to, you know, not um, have to cook that much. <laughs> I had rice and roasted vegetables and chicken for dinner tonight, and so I just made twice as much as I needed and packed it in a little container, so I, I have, like, real actual good lunch tomorrow. So hype. <laughs> um, I work for a company called Sepia. The, I, can, I can say the name of the company, um, I guess, <laughs> probably. It's, it's on my LinkedIn, so I guess it's not that's not NDI. I'm not allowed to talk about what projects we're working on, so I will refer to the projects vaguely as, you know, Project 1, I'm doing storyboards. Project 2, you know, because storyboards I don't think is too much of a NDA-type deal, because, um, like, if you go on Sepia's website, you'll see that we just released a product that are, like, magical wands and they have screens on them, so you can sort of infer that we might be creating more toys that have LCD screens on them, but I can't tell you specifically what projects we're working on. I also don't like to actively mention the name of the company. I mean, I've said it a couple times, but I, I, I try not to specifically call out the name of the company just because, you know, in case I say anything that might reflect badly on them, I don't want it to be, like incredibly obvious who I work for, but I've, I've said it a couple times when people ask. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I tend not to say anything bad about them, or if I do, I follow it up with, like, with a good comment, because I do really like working there. It's not not it's not bad. You know, my, my job is not bad. I really enjoy my work. My co-workers are great. Uh, it's just, some days I get stressed out, and I just need to talk about why I'm stressed out, and then everything's back to normal, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, it's it's not bad. It's not a bad job. I, I in fact, it's a really good job. I really I really enjoy working there. It's just some days are stressful, and you need to rant, and then everything goes back to normal, and then you're fine. So uh, things that are NDA, I'm not allowed to tell you what projects we're working on. Things that are not NDA, I work at a at a, at a toy company, basically. Um, I don't mind being open about it because if you do enough searching, you can figure out who I work for. So I might as well just tell you and make your search easier. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, so that's, I mean, it's a, it's a good job. I just, craziness. This I think this week in particular has been extra insane. Uh, also, side note, I'm really happy with how this is coming out so far. The sketch phase was a nightmare on this, but the line art phase is not only going very well, but I'm also very happy about it. So, I'm super hype. I knew this, I knew this part would be a little bit easier, also. Just for the record, I knew this would be a little bit better. Uh, if you need a, um, yep, jobs are jobs. Every, I think everywhere is like that. I think even if you worked for, like, well, I don't even, I, I can't, I can't even think of a job off the top of my head that doesn't have some sort of difficulty or stress in it. You know, ev every job's gonna be like that, and I, and I'm very realistic about that. I'm not complaining about my job being difficult because I don't think it should be difficult. I'm just complaining because I need to get it off my chest and, and all as well, so, you know. Uh, dear, dear friends watching this, please do not think I am, I'm, you know, making bad of my job. I, I like my job. Please don't fire me. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I'm super hyped about the line art. See, the th see, what's weird, and and maybe this is, I mean, obviously this is a me problem, but when I'm doing stuff in the background like this, I'm really, I have a good understanding of like, so, so I have, I have a decent understanding of the fact that like, this stuff in the front is closer to you, so, um, it, it has a darker line width, and then the stuff back here is much more vague and has less detail and line width, but, like... But when I do it on characters, I can't do it. 
I see people all the time with like tutorials showing how they do line width on different characters to show depth. I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how figure out how to do it on one character that's mostly all on the same plane, but I can do it really well with like multiple parts to the um, that have like multiple parts to the to the drawing. If that makes sense, like this this has a foreground, a middle ground, a background, and I can do line width pretty all right on those. But doing single characters, I have such a hard time with it. I mostly just try to darken like joints, if that makes sense, like. Uh, oh jeez. You know, like up under the arm here, or like in folds. I try to darken it, you know, inside collars. I try to darken the lines. I just can't figure out how to do like this kind of line width. But... I'm starting to get a little more comfortable at backgrounds. Um, I was very bad at them before, and that's why I did not offer them, because I thought it would take me too long. And when you, a I actually, I started doing backgrounds again because you asked me for a background. I thought, you know, well, you know, Marinette's been coming to me for art for so long. I, the least I can do is try something with a background. So I did, and I'm, first of all, I'm doing better than I thought I was going to do. So that's a good start. Um, and then second of all, uh, that's it. That's, that's first and second. There it is. Uh, <laughs> so I, I don't know. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm getting better at it, and I so I took it on your commission specifically because I wanted to try to um, I wanted to try to improve my background work, and the only way to get better is if you practice. So I gotta you know screw up on some backgrounds before I can get it right. So even even though these commissions are taking me a very long time, I feel like I'm learning a lot about how to organize backgrounds for a piece, and I think that it's gonna help me a lot in the long run. So it, it might be slightly harder than usual, but... Yeah. I usually just- it usually it's just that it takes me forever. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm glad you're liking it so far. I think I was gonna put some people up here, but now I'm not sure if I want to. I'm about to go destroy this building with some vines in a second, though. So are any of you guys actively working on anything for the world you're building? Or are you just uh, kind of noodling around as usual? <laughs> I've mostly been noodling. Trying to scribble what I can here and there, gathering reference if I see something on like DeviantArt that makes me go, "Ooh, I want, I want to have something that looks like that," or "I like the color scheme on this," or whatever. Curious if any of you guys are working on anything at the moment. I'm glad that you drew a thing, and I think you need to draw more thing. Yes, yes, always draw more thing. I haven't done this, like, sweeping brushstroke thing in a while. Also, side note, but it's nothing to do with the question I just asked. Because um, I just did it, and I just remembered that I wanted to bring it up because I'm conscious about it now. Um, somebody at work... Men one of my coworkers asked me about this... this Se I guess it's some sentence that if you say it, you can tell if somebody has something called a, um, it's called a sibilance or something like that, but it's where when you say certain words, you, um, you hit, like, hiss on certain letters, and I, after he told me about it, I realized that I do it, and it bothers me so much. Hooray! MDX, you finished! But yeah, so side note, that has nothing to do with anything that I asked about. I noticed that I, I hiss when I say like S's. My S's are very hissy and I'm trying to figure out how to not do that. <laughs> I don't know if it bothers you or if you like it or you don't like it. I just, I, it, I realized it happens and now I'm super conscious about it. 
Have you ever had that happen? Like somebody points like a, you know, a, a tick out or something, you know, or a certain aspect of your personality and then you just can't let it go. You're just like, eh. oh, I do do that. <laughs> Yeah, sibilant consonants. You can hear me hissing, although I'm trying to speak a little bit quieter, so maybe you're not hearing it as much, but I do it. That's what they're called. Yeah, sibilant consonants. I hiss. Or squeak or whistle or whatever whatever this particular sound is that comes out of my uh comes out of my mouth when I use my my s sounds. I was doing it the other day when I was talking. Like I, I was really conscious of it when I was talking to one of my coworkers the other day. We were going over um, some reviews, and I was so frustrated with what was going on that I couldn't. Like I was just slurring all my words, and then I was really. Uh, I suddenly noticed that I was whistling a lot while I was speaking, and so I like had to stop and think about what I was doing and like what I was saying. I've been trying to keep track where my tongue goes when I speak. And also, I'm now much more conscious of my my volume so that I'm not screaming into the microphone at you guys and interrupt, you know, being difficult. <laughs> but that's a completely separate issue. The easy part of drawing characters from my saga, the protagonists of the first act, the secondary protagonist of the second act, and the overarching antagonist have almost the same physical appearance because plot. <laughs> What plot reason did you have to give them all the same design? I'm curious. Not judging your choices, I'm genuinely curious about why you did that. <laughs> Alright, let's get this vine in here before I forget about it. Or is that a spoiler that you cannot share? I will respect that if it's a spoiler. <laughs> Let's do... Make this one a little more squiggly so it looks like it's uh, kind of dipping back like under a little bit. I guess you do never need a reason to make all your characters look exactly the same. This song really cracks me up. I don't even know what this is from, but I like it. Oh, it's Danganronpa. Okay, I know what that is. I know of Danganronpa. I haven't played it, but I, I know of it. I, I know it exists. I know what it is. Gotcha. Okay, then. Then do not share. <laughs> Still, it's uh, certainly interesting. I bet that's pretty hard to work with sometimes, too, if your character's all have a similar appearance, or maybe it's easy, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start running into that issue with the Veos at some point, because, uh, they don't have too much distinction as far as what they look like. down here, so let's remedy that situation. <laughs> oh, okay, they're like a descendant. Gotcha. 
Oh, and actually, I just realized I put a crack in the ground here. Or, that's not really the ground, that's, you know. might not potentially be a bad thing. Or maybe it is and you gotta simplify it. Simplification is what we've been fighting uh, fighting for at work, so... Did you? Sweet. Oh, I'm glad you figured it out, maybe. What did you do differently? Or did it just kind of come to you? Because <laughs> I've had those days, too. this on a third layer. <laughs> For reasons. Ah, sweet. Getting a good brush is all you need. Just realized what layer I'm on. I skimmed it. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually read it in that much detail, but I did skim it, because that's all I had time for. <laughs> not for a lack of, of wanting, just <laughs> don't have time. <laughs> okay. I made that whole separate layer just for doing the spikes and then completely ignored it. erase everything out from underneath the new vine. Make it nice and easy on ourselves.
Tim Spice, how's it going? Welcome. Sorry you came in on a sneeze. <laughs> See you later, SS. Yeah, hopefully we didn't uh, confuse you too much. I uh, hope I hope our crazy rambling advice was at least somewhat helpful. Thanks so much, Tim. <laughs> All right, Mage. Let me uh, let me read your thing. The three people I described are Astralis, so they have. Or, oh, sorry, Astrals. <laughs> Uh, so they all have the same type of appearance, which boosts why I made them look- Okay, that- that makes sense. The funny part is I had a design for them ages ago, like upwards of seven years at this point, and then one day I played a game that made- that was- a game made before I was born, and there was a character that looked almost exactly like my design to a T. That's- that's pretty crazy. Can you tell me about grayscale painting? <laughs> um... Maybe? <laughs> um... I- because I do everything linear, I tend to use... Here, let's, uh, let's take a sidetrack. Let's get sidetracked. Let's turn off all these things. Let's also put this box back where it's supposed to be, even though it won't stay where I want it. Um, so, because I do linear work, I tend to use my grayscales to break objects apart. It's, um, it's actually not revolutionary. It's tonal values. Um, so... The characters and the plants are the brightest things in the in the scene, and so by well, they don't have to be, but I chose I chose to have them be the brightest thing in the scene because everything's going to be really dark. So by surrounding them with dark grays, um, it makes them pop out more. Uh painting, like like digital painting, like actual like painting techniques. Uh, I am not going to be particularly helpful on that front. <laughs> Not trying to be annoying about it, but I just, I simply do not know much about painting. Um, drawing. That's mostly what I use it for, honestly. That's, uh... I mean, when you, when you do, um, painting, it's pretty much the same thing. You want some of your, you know, lights and darks to be, um... You know, you want to keep an eye on that stuff. Uh, it, it's really kind of... Like, so if I were painting this... Even if I were painting this, like... Let me see if I can find a way to apply this to not linear. So if I were painting this with, like, you know, as if I were doing it with a paintbrush and it was very, like, you know, painterly and not linear and cartoony, um, I would, uh... Aw, oh, man, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the Axie Stack. Um, so I would do, like, so say I was gonna paint this character painterly, uh, in fact... We can even do that real quick, so I can try to explain this while I speak. Um, I might make this character, maybe her darkest value is this color gray. So I might shade her a little lighter, to say the light source is coming, you know, left to right. So then I might, you know, shade to put her light source here, but the darkest gray on her is going to be this, like, mid-tone gray. And then for the background, I might go full black. You know, this this is going to get a lot darker in its shadows than she is because she's lighter. Um, that's the best way I can describe it to you. Um, if you want more, like, painterly stuff, uh, if you're interested, uh, let's see. How, how do you get clean lines and not all scribbly and flat line weight also line weight i was actually just talking about that before uh line weight i have a lot of trouble with um line weight uh i actually have so i have this brush that's again it's not super revolutionary but it's this brush i made for myself that's just a it's just a circle just a hard circle brush uh and then up here in my which one is this tab uh, I have shape dynamics and texture and smoothing on to make it nice and 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 smooth. Uh, mostly a lot of uh, if you if you keep watching, you'll see I do a lot of like single strokes. So instead of like, um, here we'll go to this building. Say I'm gonna do you know um, this line on this building. Instead of going like this to make this line, I will go. And if that's not quite right, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. And I just... See, that, that's actually a really good line. So I, like... 
you know, do a whole arc. And if it's not quite the right angle, I undo it and do it again. That helps you keep your uh, line smooth. Line weight, I do the same thing. So, like, since I, so I'm not good at line weight on single characters. Uh, and I was talking about this earlier that, like, on these guys, I don't, I guess, I guess this, I guess her tail would technically have a smaller line weight than up here, but I'm not good at that on a, like, on a small depth, like on a character, um, but with big scenes like this, I would use, for example, on these characters, I believe I used the 12 point brush, and then when I did this build, no, I used the 9 on them, and so when I went and did this building, I used the 7. It's a little bit smaller, so my line weights never get too big, they never overcome the characters and then these back here even though it's really hard to work with a five point brush on something like this i've been using five point because it keeps my lines a lot lighter if that makes sense so yeah oh thanks yeah i like concept stuff too uh, I, I try to check out a lot of other streamers that do concept stuff because uh pretty much everybody uh pretty much everybody on this channel's discord does some some level of world building or you know, they play D&D &D or something, so there's a, a lot of creative people who, who really enjoy concept-type art, so, uh, you know, we, we're all very interested in concept art here. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, if you're interested, we do have a, we do have a Discord if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, we talk about world building and, and character creation all the time, and, and everybody's super cool. I guess, I guess everybody's kind of cool. Also, Mage, let me click on that link you sent me. And everyone else. Oh, okay, so they're kind of like exactly like that, huh? Is it is it like they always have the same hairstyle, or do they always change their styles, or is that like, um? <laughs> I was kidding, you guys. You you guys know I love you more than most things in my life. <laughs> um, so mage, the, your your characters, you say they look very similar to these guys, um. Turn my headset down because this song is super duper loud for some reason. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to make you sad. I love you. I do. <laughs> please, please don't hate me. Because I don't hate you. I'm sorry. Um. So your your uh, astrals. Do they- is it like they always have- are they like cookie cutter of one another? Where they like they always have the same hairstyle, always have the same eye color, always have similar face shapes? Or is it just sort of like they have this golden- golden hair? And, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, Mage linked a- a picture of a character from another thing that looks very similar to one of- uh, one of their, uh, species- one of his species. So I was I was asking Mage if um about about this particular species. Of course now Mage is mad at me because I made a joke about how I don't love you guys even though I do. Um and for understandable reasons, Mage no longer wants to speak to me, so <laughs> And also, there's probably a stream delay, so, you know, there's also that. But I think it's the first reason. I think it's because Mage is mad at me and doesn't want to speak to me anymore. <laughs> uh, Tim Spice, do you do any sort of uh, concept work or uh, anything like that? You uh, Are you an artist also? Or a streamer at all? Like new friends. We like new friends here. Even though for some crazy reason people are still here, even though the uh, streamer is a is a jerk sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's uh, merge these layers down. All right, so this building should now be these buildings should be back here by themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have 15 minutes. I'm gonna if I have to go over a little bit, I will. But I wanna. I really want to get the um. I really want to get the line art done on these. So.
Astros have the same physical appearance, long blonde hair, blue eyes. The primary difference between any astral is the strength of their personality. So are some of them really quiet and reserved, like a Spock kind of character, whereas some of them are really big and open and loud, or is it just that they their their personality is really what makes them distinct? Just in general. I'm curious. We don't talk about, uh, like, details of other people's species too much, or creatures. It's all to do the way they're made without much need for difference between any two individuals. I am the concept artist for drawing cartoon dicks. That's awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a pretty sweet job. <laughs> uh, okay, where, where are we going from here? building got a little bit smushed I think I think I lost a little bit of the um, I think I lost a little bit of the um, I think I lost a little bit of the sketch in there somehow <laughs> that's right we did uh Dude, it has been one of those weeks. <laughs> it has been one of those weeks where my life is blending into itself. You know the uh, the Will It Blend videos? That's currently my life. Will it blend? No. <laughs> it just becomes mush. <laughs> I don't want to admit that I have the memory span of, like, a goldfish, but I probably do. <laughs> hey, that's true. Yeah, uh, Tim Spice, we just made a Not Safe for Work channel on the Discord because Riarkra wanted to share his porn. It wasn't- it wasn't porn. It was a very- it was a very tasteful nude. <laughs> Um, but we created a separate channel just for it, so hey, you could upload all of your dick concept art. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, summertime, you're just like, oh, okay, goodbye, memory banks, adios. That was, it, was, it was fun having knowledge at one point, but uh, I'm gonna veg for the rest of my existence. You just unload your entire brain's worth of information. <laughs> I did. I'm, so I'm sorry, Mage, I didn't mean to flash the stream. I hope I didn't embarrass you too much by showing off your porn. <laughs> Windows Defender, I swear to actual Christ. <laughs> I am not a religious individual, but I will swear to every god that there is. You need to be quiet. <laughs> so, uh, fun fact, uh, for... Mostly for Tim Spice, because he's new. Uh, but this PC thinks that it has a Trojan. And it has asked me about this Trojan probably 15 times in the last couple days. And I have attempted to remove it, and it will not go anywhere. And I have absolutely no idea what it is. And it doesn't appear to be doing anything harmful to the computer. So here I am. It doesn't also appear to be doing anything harmful to me. So I don't know why it's here. But Windows Defender keeps finding something. And then I delete it. And then here it is again. So I don't know what's going on there. We're not cake shaving. Don't you worry. You have drawn over a thousand dicks for major film and game companies? What? <laughs> Wait, I thought you were joking. <laughs> How is that even a job? Is that a job? Now I'm confused and questioning everything and I'm not sure if I'm being punked. <laughs> is this reality TV? Is that why my computer has a virus on it? Are you guys punking me? Is that what it is? Is this payback? Mage, is this- <laughs> I feel like this is payback for that one time I flashed the stream with your art by accident. <laughs> Concept dick designer. I thought you were making a joke about, like, not- <laughs> So, w what you said made me think of something, like, 
a friend of mine in high school would have said about being like like saying like you know if you ask them if they're not an artist then they're like well i'm pretty good at stick figures i thought that's what you were saying Coxep designer. That's her. Oh, yeah, we're back to Binding of Isaac. Yeah, no, Tim, I thought you were making it. Well, maybe you still are. I don't know. I, I feel like I, I feel like I'm about to get punked. <laughs> I feel like one of you guys is going to be like, just kidding. You're on a reality TV show. <laughs> um, Yeah, no, I thought you were making one of those jokes like, oh, yeah, I'm a professional stick figure designer. Like, I thought that's where you were going with that. <laughs> I love that you describe your character as shiny, shiny dragon gay Jesus, or with gay Jesus, because I, I know the human is gay Jesus. I just, oh, uh, that makes me laugh. What is going on with this building? <laughs> See, and also Tim, this is the part of the this is the part of the stream where I would ask you if you wish to share your um your lovely artwork with the chat, but. Apparently you're a dick concept designer, so. That's one thing I have actually attempted, and I think uh, Nugget and I were talking about this the other day. <laughs> I've, so I was working on, um, I was working on the uh, design, I was working on some, stop, let me use my words. Let me think about what I want to say and then use my words. <laughs> I was working on the Veos the other week and I was talking to Nugget about some of my ideas, and um, I got to the section of my of my character sheet where I was going to talk about like aging and reproduction and stuff, and so I had to look up how snakes have sex and reproduce, and I now know how that works, and that's not a piece of knowledge I ever thought would be in my arsenal of things that I know, but it is. I I now know how snakes reproduce, uh, and I had to do the same thing for the Jadella. I had to look up how birds reproduce, and I you know, was doing extensive research on on bird reproduction, like in-depth scientific bird reproduction. Um, so that happened. But one thing I have not had to do was design their genitals. I figure that someday, if my stuff gets really popular and people like my art enough to make weird fan art of it, someone will design their dicks for me and then I won't have to think about it. So, you know. Someday. <laughs> Maybe someone will decide whether Jadoa have dicks or not, but for right now, they don't. <laughs> uh, I haven't decided what they have, and I have no idea what they would have, so... <laughs> Alright. We were discussing something about Dragonborn genitalia because everyone bullies me, apparently. <laughs> so then he said that most Dragonborn don't even have genitals that the shiny boy has. Only those descended from actual dragons are, so that day I learned that my shiny dragon's dicks have plot significance. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. No, can you imagine? That that's so great. I would laugh so hard if that happened to one of my characters, to be honest. <laughs> Such a random plot point. Like something you were just like, oh that'd be funny if I got, you know, porn of my character. That would be great. But then nope, it's actually it's actually relevant to the plot. <laughs> Without question. <laughs> it shows up right as at a conversation about dicks. <laughs> At least you didn't have to do 3D animation of that. Oh dear. <laughs> Shiny dragon dicks, crocodile dong. I don't, that's the other thing. I don't even want to think about what a crocodile dick looks like. <laughs> uh, fun fact, snakes don't have dicks. So I didn't have to think about that too hard. But I don't know if crocodiles have dicks and I didn't really look into it, so. <laughs> that's what I figure. I figure if someday my, if, if my work someday gets fan art, that at least, you know, at, at least it would be fan art, you know? <laughs> sure, it's it's weird, it, it's, it, it's gonna be weird bird slash snake dick fan art, but at least it's fan art, and I would appreciate every second of it, even if it's weird. <laughs> That's why I don't mind furry porn sometimes, because at least someone made a thing. 
I think it's a little weird sometimes, depending on the subject matter, but hey, you made a thing, and I'm proud of you. That's why, even though I'm teasing you about it, mage, I'm not judging you at all, because at least you bought a thing and you're enjoying it, so... You know, I, I dig it. You, you guys, that's the, the beauty and sometimes the terror of the internet. It is a weird place, and I think that's beautiful, because everything would be boring if everything was normal. <laughs> I could do fan art of your characters, but you usually pay me to draw your characters, so then, you know. Does it count as fan art? <laughs> I'm a fan, and I'm making you art, so does it count? <laughs> God, Tim, I have so many questions. <laughs> I'm so confused and curious. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this building, also. Being paid to draw fan art. <laughs> it's kind of what it feels like sometimes, because it doesn't feel like work, because it's fun. I'm gonna turn this lighter off for a second, because I'm pretty sure I fucked the side of this building pretty bad. <laughs> uh, mostly because my sketch stopped making sense around this point. Make him a little less... Uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's almost 10 o'clock and I'm not even close to being done with this building. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll have enough free time to make free art for you and then I can actually give you free art. But for right now, I have zero time. I hardly even have time for this. Tell us more about astrals. Do it. Astrals have personalities that aren't too different from general mannerisms, but differ in what part of the universe they are tasked with researching. They are hard-coded to act the same and not have emotions, yes, but interestingly enough, they can grow to resent things, develop their own humanish personalities under the right circumstances. Interesting. So they're kind of like AI. A little bit. I guess actually they are pretty much like they sound like they're like synthetic uh, artificial intelligence, where they can kind of grow and learn and all that. I kind of, uh... You gave me beef sandwich and buff penguins for free once, that was nice, yeah. I did do that once, that was, uh... Your buff sandwich even became an emote, which, uh, you know, is a thing that happened. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on with this sketch? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, hang on. Um, what's going on here? That's not the one I wanted to turn off. I wanted these, maybe? Okay, well, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> this particular portion got really messed up somehow, and I'm not sure how that happened, but... I found you an FA from the adorable axolotl drawings. Did you study any specific pictures or references that helped you draw them so well? Um, here, let me... First of all, I have one, so I've seen them in person, and they're beautiful. Um, however, let me see if I have the old logo. So the first thing I started with with these guys... Yeah, this is my old drawing. Of... This was the old axolotl. The old axolotl had a very round face. He was more like an emote, and I drew him super fluffy. Uh, with lots of little pieces, and I simplified him greatly. Um, I made his nose less, um... I made his nose less defined. Um, I made his arms different. I based him a little bit off of Toothless also, because Toothless is sort of based off of one, so, like, his front legs don't make any sense as far as, um... Yeah, I have a turnaround. Here he is. I mostly used a lot of photo reference and looked at the shapes that I liked in their faces, so 
you know, they've, they've got this long pointed salamander snout. Um, gotta make the eyes as cute as possible. The eyes are kind of based off the eyes of the characters in Slam Rancher. And by based off of that, I mean I pretty much use the eyes off the characters in Slam Rancher because they're just dots with another dot inside of them. They've got the big wide grin, you know, that's a big part. And then I just simplified the, um, I simplified the gills. I gave them a really specific shape for the gills too. Like their gills don't have this little bulge in them, but I gave it that specific shape just so that I would always be able to draw them consistently. Um, and yeah, so it's just a lot of, a lot of photo reference, a lot of practice. I, the character has come a long way since I first drew it. And I think that that has a lot to do with it also. Ah, oh, Slime Rancher. I love Slime Rancher. I, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I have based a lot of stuff at work off of Slime Rancher because my boss is so into having cute stuff, and I'm like, well, nothing gets cuter than Slime Rancher, so... I'll just make the characters have the Slime Rancher mouths. And I've actually started drawing my mouths more like Slime Rancher now because I enjoy the way the, the mouths look. Like, when I do a happy, a happy face, you know, I used to do, like, a... That used to be my happy face. Now I give it the little smile and then make the big circle. <laughs> you know, if, if that makes sense. Like, I, I've started drawing differently because I was influenced by Slime Rancher. That game was amazing. Yes, Mage. I, I, I skimmed it. I didn't get, like, to read it completely in depth, but I do sort of understand what you're talking about. Like, it makes sense. And I read the first... Uh, the first bit you sent to me, so I'm sort of piecing. I, I, I really want to go back, uh, and I might even do it tonight before I go to bed. I want to, I definitely want to read in depth about Ether, because I understand the basic concept of what you were going for. I just haven't actually had a chance to, like, fully in depth read what you wrote for me, you know, or for us, you know. But I, I do understand it. Oh, did you? That's sweet. Are you an artist also? I guess you must be. If you uh, if you ever wanna link your art, go for it. We are a uh, free open sharing here at uh, RTX Lol. Only the pre axi kids, <laughs> axi stack kids remember Slime Rancher. Absolutely, yes. That was pre axi stack, wasn't it? You guys were all here for that, but it was pre axi stack, or at least some of it was. No, you're definitely- I'm following very well, sorry, and I actually missed your comment. They're like magic AI. So they're like AI, but they're not robots, they're magic. Which makes perfect sense, to be honest. Like, I- I totally follow that. <laughs> Let's get some more vineage in here. Well, I don't know if I don't know about everybody else, but I am definitely understanding everything you're writing. <laughs> I won't speak for everyone, but I I have understood what you were talking about so far. <laughs> did they do a new expansion? What uh what did they release? I don't remember seeing anything about that. We did the um a couple weeks ago we finished up doing um the uh Saber Slimes area. Did they add more since the Saber Slimes? Because we might have to return to that after Christmas. <laughs> Seeing as Slime Rancher is up there on my one of my favorite games. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go over time a little bit. Um... Mostly because I'm not tired yet, and also because I want to finish this. I want to get the line art done so the next time we stream this, um, I can hopefully get started on, um... I can hopefully get started on color. Because I really want to get this... I want to get this finished for you guys before, before the holidays. Because I know I'm going to vanish off the face of the earth during the holidays, so... I don't know what is going on here. I don't remember what this shape was supposed to be. I'm looking at it and I just can't figure out what I was what I was doing. 
If anybody remembers, tell me, because I don't remember. No, you won't be alone. We love you. You're always here. I want to try to get both, because I only have your two commissions left, and then Apple Gravy wanted, Tested wanted something for me too, so I was trying to get through these two before I got to them. So it's been a vicious cycle of trying to get things done, and now I'm running out of time because the holidays are coming up, so... Um, well, since I'm going home for the, for Christmas, um, I actually won't even be here, um, and I won't have any of my streaming equipment, so I won't I won't be streaming not next week but the following week. Uh, Friday next no Thursday next week will be the last day I stream before the new year. I'll be back um, the twenty se I guess I'll be back before New Year's. I'll be back the twenty seventh for sure. Oh, Mage. Mage, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I like your dragon boy. Even if you have porn of him, I like him. <laughs> your shiny dragon is a good shiny dragon. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. The fun part now, though, is that uh, you know I feel bad about it, so now you can force me to grovel. Should you choose to do that. I make fun of myself almost constantly, so... Uh, I might do these in, uh... Actually, I might do that with this. Oh, that one back there is a little bit closer. Okay, I think these two, even though I have them drawn out as, like, line art, I think I'm gonna do them in, uh, gradient, maybe? Like, I'm gonna do them as, as shapes, so I'm gonna leave them off for now. I should do one of them. Okay, let's just do them. Well, actually, no. You know what? Let's, um... I'm gonna do them real loose like that, yeah. Never mind. I've made a decision. Mage. <laughs> Mage is like, I want art, but I also it's gonna be big art, so. <laughs> now you guys are good. One of these days. After after the holidays are over, everything will calm back down. It's just right now everything at work is madness, so you know. I'm having to fight that. Uh, 
No, once the holidays are over, everything will stop because then all of the stuff we're working on now should start going to uh, a toy festival and should go to buyers and should be purchased by um, January, I believe it is. So, like, the schedule at work should relax a little bit after that because then it's sort of like we, you know, it is what it is kind of thing. I hate this or not. I sort of, like, I know it might look kind of cruddy, but I have a plan. I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep the line art for the plan, so that's why I'm doing it a little bit hastily, just because I don't know if I'm going to need the line art or not. I might not need it, and that's sort of where I'm at right now. I'm just going to do that one, just so there's more line art down here, and then I'm going to probably do this one in, in silhouette. So, oh, this goes up further. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Chaos. Alright, there. There. Okay. There we go. Building. Or whatever. Toys actually aren't supposed to be busy this month. It's just that we're completely insane. So that's how it ended up being the way it is. Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am having fun destroying everything. All right, let's reduce that. I think I did 500 on this one. Relative, sorry. Minus 500. Minus. That should clip my background. Yeah, that clips my border out. Okay. Crop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are taking me a little while. I haven't had a lot of time to work not during stream, so we, we all know how that is. I mean, the proto... You were going to write up a description for the proto Frylians, but fi fiery, fiery lands. I haven't had to pronounce them out loud in a while. Um, I know you were going to have a write-up for those, but they don't really show up in this piece at all. So I don't know. Maybe you're all right for right now. Uh, one more thing I'm going to do before I close out is uh, I'm going to do like a person up here. For scale and maybe a little blip down here for scale. There we go. I mean, it's kind of unfortunate there's people dying, but also it gives you some scale to, like, where people are. And then I'll fade these out at some point. Like, when I go up to do these, they're not gonna be that color. They're gonna be more like, um, you know, say these guys are say these guys are green, you know, they're gonna be more like, they're gonna be more like this. You know, I'll color this particular line art in with a color so that they fade back a little bit, because right now they're really dark. They're like a bold spot in the middle of the, in the middle of the piece, which they won't stay like that, so. All right, let's merge these background layers together. So we now have a background, a mid-ground, and a foreground, so there is your piece. See you later, Renes. Yeah, I'm actually going to get ready to uh, close up here. I got to get ready for work tomorrow, but uh, this was what I wanted to get done. So we have gotten done what I wished to get done. So we are by like pi real ins. Pi real ins. Okay, I'll remember that. Bulbinos. So yeah, this is coming along. We're getting there. So I'm going to... um. Let's see. I, I gotta find out what my family's doing on uh, tomorrow as far as game night, because if they're not planning to play games with me tomorrow, I would probably work on one of your guys' commissions tomorrow. Uh, so, I think, I'm think i thinking even though it's not on the schedule, we might do another impromptu art stream tomorrow just to try to get some of these done, uh, depending, so. Yeah, right? You guys gotta get, to get connected, become friends. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna head off to bed. Thanks for coming to hang out with me, you guys. Uh, I always 
I always like having friends around. Uh, and even though I teased you earlier about being cool, I guess, you guys are you guys are actually really super cool, and I love that you're here with me. So, uh, have a good night, and have fun playing WoW, and doing whatever else it is you're doing today, slash tomorrow, slash tonight. Um, and I will be, uh, maybe back tomorrow. I'll let you know in the Discord. Uh, if anybody here is not in the Discord, feel free to join the Discord. We have lots of art things, and I also update the stream schedule there. So, you know, if you're not in the Axie stack, you should be there, because we're a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, good night. I'm gonna stop rambling. Good night. Bye. Thank you.